Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Let's talk about the nutritional cure for eczema. You know, eczema is a skin condition that's often very itchy. You get sort of a dry, scaly rash, or it can sometimes be weepy with some oozing blisters. Often you see sort of red, flaky patches on the skin. And it's very irritating, and it can be very embarrassing. And although there's some medical treatments for it, they're not outstandingly good. And what often gets left out of the story is what the nutrition and supplementation management should be because it can make a big difference for these patients. So in terms of diet and lifestyle, these are the things that have been shown to make a big difference. First of all, you have to avoid known dietary or environmental irritants or allergens. So that means going to an allergist and getting tested for environmental uh, agents and also for food uh, uh, allergies. And then once you have that profile, even if everything comes back negative, you should still see a naturopath or a holistic medical doctor who can do some other types of sensitivity testing to see if there's some things that you have some intolerances to. And you have to get those things out of your diet. Then you have to reduce the, some of these foods that I'm going to talk to you about right now. High fat meat and high fat dairy products. Also get rid of corn oil, sunflower seed oil, fla uh, uh, sunflower seed oil and mixed vegetable oils. As well as reduce your intake of alcohol or eliminate it altogether as well as reducing your intake of hydrogenated fats like margarine and commercial peanut butters and shortenings that have trans fats in them. Why are you getting rid of those foods? Because they promote inflammation. They encourage the skin cells to make these inflammatory prostaglandin chemicals that make the problem worse. So what are the alternatives? While well, eating lower animal fat products like chicken breast, turkey breast, fish, Cornish hen, milk or yogurt that's that's one percent milk fat or less no cheese above three percent milk fat and using these vegetable oils olive oil maybe canola oil you want to stir fry something you want some peanut oil once in a while that's okay too now there are some supplements that have been shown to be very helpful for eczema patients particularly essential fatty acids the combination of borash seed flax seed and fish oil all in one capsule at the right dosage can help the skin make hormones that actually suppress inflammation, slow down the rate of cell division, and actually can help heal the lesions. To make those prostaglandins from those oils, you need a B50 complex. You also need antioxidants. And the B vitamins and the antioxidants also help to make healthier looking skin cells as well. And then there are nutrients that aid in what's called detoxification and help to make the immune system work more uh, sensibly. So nutrients like reishi mushroom extract and astragalus, the indole 3 carbonyl, and also milk thistle, when you combine those together into a supplement, you're helping to detoxify things that might be irritating the skin, so the skin is now healthier, and getting the immune system not to produce so many immune inflammatory responses that would create some of the inflammatory response. I also like the idea of taking uh, digestive enzymes with prebiotics to have a healthier gut because when you have uh, a healthier microflora, as they say in the, in the intestinal tract, many conditions like eczema are greatly improved and maybe even taking probiotics, some of these friendly bacteria in a particular dose. Here's something interesting. Recent studies have shown that the topical application of vitamin B12 has been very effective in certain cases of eczema as well. So to clarify it for, it, for you, I've, I, I've written an article that summarizes all of this. If you click on the link below, you'll see my research review article on, on how to manage this. The article's called Topical Vitamin B12 Treatment for Eczema, a Recent Breakthrough Finding. But it also touches on all the other nutritional aspects that I've been addressing in this short little video. Now the reason it's so important, if you have eczema, is because many medical doctors don't have any training on nutrition and supplementation, topical vitamin B12. It's not really what they study in medical school or in continuing education. So I've written a review article that'll help you understand how to put these things into a proactive strategy for yourself that can make a huge difference. And all the scientific references are there so you know you're getting only sound scientific information from me. So if you have eczema, read that article right now.